Hi, so today we're going to look at the pipe centerline entity and how to obtain one from your scan. So here I've got the scan of the underside of a vehicle, typical sort of scan where you don't in fact often have the complete pipe, but that in itself is not a problem. So I'm going to turn off the scan and show you the mesh that I extracted and we'll work on that. So the first thing of course you do is select the pipe centerline entity function and you've got a few parameters. I would leave the curve tension where it's set. The system has already decided that the best way to select this center line is by selecting the pipe surface with the sudden change function. So you just click on your control key, hold it down and choose the bits of pipe you want. Now you mustn't choose multiple pieces of pipe that aren't part of the same center line because that will confuse the algorithm. So here we go. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click the other side and here. And that is a section of pipe that I want to know the center line of. I'm going to press preview and there is my center line. Now, if you're curious about how good the fit is, you can actually click on display color map and it will show you the fit. Normally it will be less of a good fit on a curve because the pipes tend to change diameter or get a little bit wrinkled on a bend. But I'm happy with that, so I'm going to choose create. I can now stay in the function and go and get my next piece of pipe. So click, click. That one didn't pick it up. And I think that's good enough. Click on preview. And there is a pretty good pipe center. We'll just go and create it. I'm going to choose the remaining bit of pipe. That looks a good selection. Preview. It's done a good curve. So create that one. And then finally, the last preview. Check it. It's doing what I expected to do. Create. And the last one is this little bit of pipe here. So we can click on that and choose preview. And we've got a reasonable center line and create. So we're done with choosing all our bits of pipe. We go back into our main mesh list and there are all our center lines. I'm going to actually turn this over so that you can see them and I can light them up one by one. And these can, of course, of course, all be exported into transferred to SolidWorks if you have SolidWorks or just exported as iGIS.